Welcome to the Results Grow Podcast. So you were interested in business, you knew how to do sales, you have a, a very niche skill that's probably highly profitable. Why, why didn't you just become a funeral home and blow up that business? I, so I wanted to do that. I had written up business plans. I don't come from money, didn't have any money. How do you start a funeral home, Steve? I mean, you, you cold call you know, out of the phone book and say, hey, have I got a deal for you? Friday, I got someone come available on Friday to come out at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock or 11 o'clock? Did you recently you? die in your family? <laughs> or you don't put out a you know an A-frame thing on the on, down the avenue and say, hey, funeral home right here. New funeral very, home. very hard to start small in that industry. Very hard. Yeah, so I just, I could not fathom how to, how to get something started. And I, I, I the last thing I was doing, I, I'd done a few, um, we'd rented a yacht and we'd gone out in the Puget Sound and did, done a scattering, you know, creation scattering. And that was really nice. And so we were, we were, and, and real estate was really expensive in Seattle. We thought it was expensive 20 years ago, right? It was just unfathomably expensive 20 years ago. And, we, you know, that's laughable today. But mm. I was looking at buying a yacht and living on a yacht. I had two little girls and uh, that was my last consideration. But that's really how I got into plumbing. My my father-in-law owned was Gene Johnson, Gene Johnson oh. plumbing. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. So right. He had some heart issues. And so he we were hunting 2001, fall of 2001. And he said, hey, I could really use your help with your business acumen over in the plumbing company. And I thought, well, if I can embalm, I can do anything. <laughs> and how <laughs> and how big was the company when you when you first started? Like where where was it at that point in time? Our first goal when I got there, I said, okay, dad, what's our, you know, what's our goal? You know, like I'm, I'm a pretty driven person and goal oriented. And he's like, I've never been to $2 million. I'd like to, let's hit $2 million. And so that was our first number we, I started talking about was, okay, we're going to go to $2 million. Mm -hmm. So what so, happened was I, so I went, I jumped, I turned my two weeks in when he offered that I was going to become a plumber. Uh, I'm really hands-on. I like to know how to do everything. And I was going to become a plumber first and then move into sales and end up with an opportunity to buy into the company. And three months later, he had a heart attack, another one. Wow. And so three months after I got there, I was in charge of doing all the estimating and the sales side and the, the out, you know, the outside part. And my, my sister-in-law, his oldest daughter, I'm married to his second daughter. We, we became partners and she handled all the in-office, you know, payroll, accounting, insurance, Got it. All that. She kept the books and I, I did the sales side. Hmm. Yep. That's the right place to be. You want to be on the sales side of things.